What's going on guys? Danny Lanier Lawn Care. Today we're going to talk to you about the new Gravely Z Stance 48 and show you what some new features are of this mower. All right guys, so we're going to tell you today about the new Z Stance 48 from Gravely. We're going to go over some pros of this mower, some of what could be cons to you or other people but we will see. So first off, let's start off with the new X-Factor 3 deck. Now the only difference that uh, talking to these folks is different is now you have the bull nose front end. So that's pretty much it. That's all that's changed, front end, different. Now one thing that does kind of get me on this is instead of being an FX Kawasaki engine, they did put an FS Kawasaki engine on this mower. So I'm kind of confused on that. Being commercial, most commercial units have the FX series on it. So the FS series usually comes with the lower end grade. So I'm not, is this something to, to take away the pro stance or is this just a new model? As we come up to the controls, you have the, uh, let's take the brake off here, show you. So you've got the, you know, the neutral spring back that'll go and then if you have new people now this is one thing that I like about the Ferris mowers as well is you can adjust this so if you're new you can literally make it to where you can barely go on this mower or you can pull this pin right here no respect no respect or you can pull this pin here and you can take it all the way out and you can go full mamma jamma on this bad boy so another great feature of this mower, this, now this is just so easy. The braking system on this is spring loaded, but it's not very hard. So uh, I'm not sure if this one just isn't tightened to where it actually touches the wheels enough, or maybe it is, and this is how it is. So we will we'll see. The best feature of this though is the deck lift. I have not found another mower that I can actually lift the deck with with one finger. So if we take this and drop it all the way down, I can grab this with one finger, pull this right back up and drop it back into place. Very easy, very smooth, very light. But with that also comes some cons, in my opinion. One of the cons that I see to this mower is uh, just like with the grandstand, the front end is very, very light on this. So when I'm mowing a property and I start bouncing a little bit, then the whole mower starts coming up, which is leaving me grass that is taller than what I'm actually cutting. I'm a bigger guy. So if you're over 2 230, I would say, this thing is gonna start bouncing on uh, a property that you're gonna get it on that you, you normally have a little bit of bounce with. To where some mowers like Skag and such of that, I don't know what they do to the front end, Ferris and whatnot, but they're heavier, so they stay to the ground. So they don't give you any of that bounce effect back. So let's go to the platform area here. Now the platform I really do like. The platform's very comfortable. Even for a bigger guy, if you're a smaller guy, it's gonna be real comfortable. But they did take away one of the features, like how you used to just have a, a pedal that would release your, your platform here. Now they've got it to where it just sets up with a pin or you can loosen it and go back down. Now another thing is these bottom brackets here. This is what makes the comfortability. So I see that if these start getting wore out, that you could change these out pretty easily, it seems like. So I don't really see a big issue with that. Let's switch to how you fill this bad boy up. So now we showed you on the previous models, you had to do a bunch of different stuff in order to get the pad off. Well, now all you do is lift up and pull out. Well, this is how you fill your mower up as well. But they changed one feature with this mower that just absolutely drives me nuts and probably is going to drive a lot of you nuts. Hey, there's no fuel gauge. You don't know how much fuel you have anymore. Where's it at, Gravely? Where's it at? Where, where's the gauge? I, I don't see it. So hence the, the, you know, the hole that they have cut out like the older ones to where you could see down in there to get the gauge or you leaned over the front to see what your fuel was. Well, now that is no longer an option. So you're really gonna have to run this mower, see how many properties, how much you really get out of it before you uh, start running it too much and run out of gas. All right, so tell me, comment down below, tell me what you feel 
you like about this or don't like about it. Maybe you like every bit of it. But thanks for watching, guys. This is Danny Lanier Lawn Care, and I am coming to you from the GIE. I am out of here.